112, The Red War. Bridge Studios with Al Lewis. Quiz show, sixth live show of the year in Little Man Coffee on the 4th of December. What day is that? Wednesday. You can get tickets online or our Facebook page, Eventbrite. It's there. Just click it, buy a ticket, come along. 100% of the money made to go into the wallet, £10 per team, five aside. Matt. We've also got Jamie McGowan from Welsh Ice guest hosting. We are tonight, we're going to be talking about Wales quite a bit. Spurs, then we're going to meet Al properly and a Premier League rounder. Touch line, touch line, right. Oh, touch line, touch line, right. It's been Wales have qualified for the European Championships next year. Tell us what the atmosphere was like. Well, I have to say, it was probably the best sung anthem I've heard, and that includes going to rugby matches. It was. It was amazing because I don't know if you know it now. But they don't they don't play any music. They just yeah. let the, the 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 singing happen on its own. I think that's so much more powerful. It just felt really confident as well. They were up for it from the beginning. They knew they had to do the task, and for sweet Jesus to see Gareth Bale and Ramsey in the same team functioning. Yeah. That 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 connection they've got. So my top five, Go Bell, okay. I've got Ramsey, followed yeah. very closely. Yeah. Then it's Big Kiefer Moore. Then it's Dan James. Then it's Ampadu. Dan James as well, I thought was brilliant. He's an exciting time for me, do you know what I mean? I love him. I, I think the exciting thing as well is he's got so much more to give. Yeah, well, dances with a flag that just says, the end, was it? which says that says Wales golf from Madrid. Bale, yeah. Easy performing for Wales ball. is one of the joys that everyone needs to witness. Masterful thing to be able to watch. He's like this, Bale in a Wales top. He's our Ian Botham. He does carry the team. He, it's infectious, and I think we've missed that for so yeah. long. Come up with an idea. What? It'd be like a like a football film. Like a love story. It'd be a love story. Bale in Madrid. Yes. A love affair. These a love them. affair in ruins. <laughs> Player power versus club power. But this is what I mean, though. It's, it's like a marriage. They're contractually my... obliged and they don't need each other. I think that Gareth Bale is too good, too young, too talented to go to China. It's a cop out. Gareth Bale should go somewhere like Bayern Munich where they've lost Ribery and Robin. So national treasures we're talking about. Gareth treasures. Bale, Ramsey, and there's there's one one other player. There's one more. And this is the most excited I've ever my, been about anything favorite. we've ever done on the podcast. It's, it's, You're talking about the chicken farmer? It's, no, actually, no. Jesus. Yeah. Well, Jesus, no, I'm not. Oh, Jesus. I'm talking about Kiefer Moore. I want to put it to the council. We can get some sort of bust or sculpture. Now you're saying I announced too much. Of, you're announcing our new of Kiefer Moore. We're going. We're going to. That's what gonna, I. That's what I want. I want Welsh national icons scattered around. We're going to start a petition. We are. We're going to start a petition because we want to see a Kiefer Moore statue because he's the best. He's out of all the squad. He's got the best that, in bronze. That's how highly I'm that's rated. That's how highly I'm rated him now. Well, he yeah. he did change the campaign. I think if he hadn't come in, I think we wouldn't have qualified. I think Absolutely. He, he enabled everybody else to fit into where they wanted to play. Cardiff Council, let's get a statue of Kiefer Moore erected. <laughs> or a bust. Or a bust. Okay, takže odpověď teda, poznám slova velmi dobré. We are here at the Bridge Studios with Al Lewis, and this is the section where we we say, who are you, what do you do? <laughs> well, um, yeah, so my name's Al, I'm a musician, singer, songwriter, and we are in my shipping container in the Bridge Studios. Uh, I've converted it into my studio. Yeah, I make my own music. I'm in a few different bands and I also release stuff on my own. I've got my own label an hour away from Liverpool and it was yeah. kind of your allegiances were I Liverpool Everton in my school and I went Liverpool because 
Ian Rush. At Tottenham have barely been recognised on an English stage. Look, we know Poch is like a great man manager. You see that in the outpouring of uh, support from those yeah. players, yeah. for sure. At that stage, if all those players who who are grateful, because many of them he gave their chance, right? You've got, yeah. you've got like Harry Kane, Deli Ali, all these that players. Even Ericsson, you could argue, because he was very good at so, Ajax. Ericsson was known to be a great so player. So if you're, if you're Daniel Levy made him better. and you're looking at that situation and you're like, it could all fall apart because I could lose all these players unless we go get a high profile manager. That is the decision that's been made there. Yeah, it's an argument to be what made. Do you think? I just think they've they panicked and I think maybe I, f I, f I felt like this season looking at them that everyone from the players to the staff they it's like they've run their last race like they yeah. how how many times can you go back to the well when you're not the, buying players and, and overperformed over overperformed and it, it, it went into getting to the Champions League final just last year and I that feel like nice. that was earlier this year how many times can you just keep saying the same thing and to the same players with no regeneration? And I think and without I, I any, think any medals and without any medals. So I think I think it was, it was probably the right decision. If Mourinho wins the League Cup, does that mean he's more successful as Spurs manager than Pochettino? If he does that and gets Champions League, then yeah. I'll oh, yeah. give you a prediction <clears throat> of where I think this situation is, how it's going to play out. Shoot. I think Pochettino will take over as PSG manager because I think Bayern Munich will appoint Thomas Tuchel. Okay, takže odpoveď teda poznám slova veľmi dobre. Poch is going to Man United. Oh, yeah, that's switch. I that's what I, I I can see it. Oli's you know Oli's going to struggle then as Tottenham go above United in the league sort of I'm going to say in February no I'm it's going to happen a United wormhole I can see his eyes they're thinking <laughs> I know this look it's going to happen it's going to happen let's move everyone, on everyone wanted Poch anyway let's, at United let's move on oh, I'm going to pause okay. there and it's going to be hello darkness my old friend <laughs> I totally. did go down a wormhole. Then. I know. But the problem. You were considering the aspect of Ollie or without Ollie. I was That's immediately you thinking, I don't want to do that to oh, Ollie. Well, to they're something. building something useful and engaging. Like, and maybe yeah, if it works, and this, that, no, and the other. And you're like, oh, but it's not going to get anywhere. <laughs> you need to build on it. You need to build. Do you know what I think it, it, it hinges on with Mourinho? If he's actually been humbled after being out of work. If he's humbled, he goes reacts. into it. Yeah. It's fascinating to see if he's even got three years in. It's the equivalent of. Uh, in the thick of it when Malcolm Tucker comes back and he's wearing a fleece just added impetus to buy a ticket it's on the same night as our quiz <laughs> oh there's a quiz there's a, football there's a quiz, quiz on a the charity quiz. football quiz 4th of December our quiz it's the same time as uh, Man United Spurs so if you want to play a football quiz and follow the return of Mourinho against Man United we'll comes never, it up my coffee we'll never finish a section like this before. no that's, that's it, a good man. way Man marking the hot issues. Right, episode one one two. We've come to an end. Uh, thank you to Al. Thank you for coming on Cheers, and guys. chatting with us. It's been most fun. Get online, Eventbrite, buy a ticket now. It's on December fourth. How, how much? How much for a team? Ten pounds per team. Like five, five a side, is it? Five like a side, football, max. Like five. But yeah, get down, let my coffee. Thank you to them. Thank you, Al. Thank you to Bendy Geddig Media for producing this wonderful podcast. And yeah, yeah, gone. Touch line. Touch line rap. This is a touch line, a touch line rap. A touch line, a touch line rap. Oh, touch line, touch line rap.